In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the Internet Explorer DevTools provided by IE. We'll first of all check the Elements panel and we'll see how we can modify DOM elements on the fly. So let's start with the Elements panel of Internet Explorer DevTools. So to launch IE DevTools, all you need to do is press the Alt key on your system. And when you will press the Alt key, you'll see these main toolbars. Under Tools option, you can go ahead and select F12 Developer Tools or you can simply press the F12 key on your computer and then that will launch the IE DevTools. There is one more way to launch the DevTool that is by right clicking and selecting Inspect Element option. That way also you can bring up the F12 tool. So. Once the F12 tool is launched, the first option that you will see is the DOM Explorer or the Elements panel as we can see. Here you can see two options coming up. The first one is as it says select element. So if you have to select any element in the page that is loaded, you can simply click on this one and then go ahead and select that particular element. Once you have selected it, you will notice that it gets highlighted in the DOM view over here. We selected the full name option and you can see that it gets highlighted. So that way you can traverse the DOM by making use of this select element. There is another way. If you hover on any of these elements, you will notice that that particular element gets highlighted in the page. So the other way is you can simply go ahead in the DOM and you can select any element you want. Now a couple of things that you will notice over here. Whenever you are selecting an element, you will see the styles associated with it over here under the Styles tab. You will also see another tab which says Computed. Now based on the style sheets that we have defined, browsers also compute the style sheet and based on that it generates some of the values over here and that you can see under the Computed. Then you have the layout option where you can see the offset, margin, border, padding, everything over here to better understand the layout of the page. Now, apart from viewing the DOM, you can also manipulate it. So for instance, if I have to just change the placeholder value, I can simply double click over here, write your full name or simply write your name that way. And you'll notice that as soon as I tag out the value changes over here write your name so you can change HTML or placeholder or any attribute value in that way you have some context options as well available with it you can click on add attribute to add any new attribute to the given element for instance if I click over here and you can see that the value attribute is missing so I can say value equals and then you can see that it automatically prompts you for the value of it so let's write skill bakery as a value and then you can simply click on outside and the value gets populated over here so that way you can add attribute you can also delete the element by simply selecting and then choosing the context menu delete element that way you can simply delete it if you want to edit in case your html is bit big you can go for this option which says edit as html so clicking on that will provide you a textual or editor based option where you can simply go ahead and write the whole HTML on your own. The other thing is when you are inside this style tabs, you can also control things. So for instance, if over here, as you can see, the inline style was given as margin 10 pixels, you can add new styles over here as well. So if I have to say something else like margin and the IntelliSense is also provided. So if I say margin top and then I provide some value for this particular attribute like 20 pixels or just to demonstrate you that it's changing as soon as you are typing it. So it's live editing as you can say. So over here you can see the as soon as I'm increasing the margin top value the text box is coming down and if I'm reducing it it's going back. So that way you can play with the DOM elements on the fly and make changes and then you can also understand how exactly your pages and your style sheet is written. You can also simply shift things up and down in order. So if I have to put this element on top, I can do it there or if I have to put it over here in between, I can simply put it there and you can see that you can rearrange elements as well inside DOM Explorer. 
and here you can see the hierarchy of how you have reached to that particular element so anytime you can go back back to so it's kind of giving you who's the parent of the currently selected element so you can see over here it's the form tag for input controls that way it goes back to the HTML the top level node couple of things over here you'll notice preview of everything like a color that you have selected a preview of that is also shown along with the values of it and then you'll also see the file name that comes up and the line number on which this particular thing has been written in order to check what is the hover property doing and what are the visited property doing you can simply go ahead and whenever you are on any given link or a background image which might have the hover value all you need to do is just for instance over here let's say I can simply go ahead and select this one and inside the you'll notice that here you're getting the a reference which says click to display pseudo states panel so any pseudo class like hover or visited is applied you'll be able to see that in action by clicking on this small pseudo class states panel so you can click on it to hide as well or click to make it visible you can find elements as well so there is a search option available for instance if I have to find an element with the ID target I can do so by simply writing let's say target and press enter you'll notice the first matching thing gets highlighted first and then you can move ahead with other matching elements so going back if you see the first one was the form and then the anchor tag came next because we have target over here as well so that way you can search elements by making use of this search text box now the context menu that we were t talking about you can see that it gives other options as well the simple cut copy is already there but you can also whenever you have copied a content you can paste it as a child element of some other element for instance let's copy this text box and let's say copy and then inside this div where we have this br if I have to say paste as child so you'll notice that this input has been pasted as child of the br tag but that is not syntactically correct but I'm just demonstrating you a fact over here so you can put it this way as well so let's delete this and put it over here paste as child So you'll notice that it will be pasted at the end it gets appended actually it's not that it will be the first element it will be the last element and then if you want to paste it before you can simply say paste before and then if you want to copy element with their styles you can go for this option it says copy elements with style so that was pretty much about the Tom Explorer you can view the whole HTML generated and the dynamic view of it whenever you are playing with the JavaScript the things will change over here in the DOM and you can manipulate it directly by coming over here and editing it you can also play with the styles you can see the pseudo classes hover and visited so all those things are available here